It was a pleasure as well. Yeah. It was good fun. <laughs> oh, fantastic. All right, well, thank you very much for making the time. Steve, really appreciate it. Thank you, Thomas. Well, pleasure to be here. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Um, so, Steve, we're wondering a little bit about your situation and challenge, if you could give us a bit of context. REC is a, is a long, old running solar panel manufacturer. We're 25 years old. It's an, uh, it's an intense industry. It's um, an industry that's moving and changing very quickly. So we needed an organization that can move and adapt and, uh, and also be very efficient. Why did you select Partners in Performance? And you guys really stood out from the pack. I'll tell you that right from the beginning, both because of expertise. You really did know what you were talking about when you came and uh, you weren't going to be learning as you as you did this with us. And I also really uh, right away saw that you were more interested in developing a long term relationship and a partnership, not just come in and do this and be gone, but uh, but really work with us over a longer period of time, which we could see right away and also results focused, not just process, process, not just pretty slides, but really getting to results, which is uh, which is what we needed. And you guys demonstrated all of that from the very, very beginning. You had the expertise, both the industry expertise, the functional expertise, and you also had external experts right in our specialty in solar PV that you could reach out to and bring in that that perspective as well. So you had all the elements we needed for a successful engagement. Mm, excellent. If you want to share maybe a little bit about the way of working with our team. With Partners in Performance, we were asking you to do some pretty sensitive stuff. Some really looking at organization and changes to the organization that's very uncomfortable for almost everybody at all levels. What really impressed me with you guys is you, you built that rapport, that trusting relationship, that sense of collaboration at all layers, all levels in the organization, all functions. Uh, people were very open and very comfortable sharing with you. Um, and that's not easy to do, especially in this kind of assignment when people know why you're here, they know that you're, you're, you're really looking to make change happen. Everybody t tends to tighten up and get nervous, but uh, all the feedback I got uh, about you, you and your team was, uh, you know, that uh, you guys were open, you were honest, um, and that made people open up to you as well and, and really work collaboratively. It's, it was fantastic. It was, a, it was a fantastic relationship. You said that this was going to be a four-week uh, project, and I honestly didn't believe you at the time. This was way too much work to do in, in four weeks' time, but um, you did complete it in four weeks, and, and I knew that from the first week. In the first four days, you had completed 78 one-on-one -on -one interviews at every level in the organization, every function, every geography all around the world. You very quickly, through those interviews and through the working sessions that you did, I think 26 working sessions with our managers, our HODs, to really, really dig in. And the day in the life observations where you, you, you observed through a whole day how things really happen at REC and how people really get work done. When we first met with you, that was the same team of people that, that were engaged in the, process, in, the, in the actual project. And you weren't learning on the job. When I say that, you had the framework, you had the tools, you had, you've worked with them a lot, obviously. You knew what you were doing. Uh, so you hit the ground running and we didn't have to talk about what, what was gonna be the process to go through, what tools, how you apply those tools. Uh, uh, everything about high-performing organizations from one end to the other end, you guys uh, had been there, done that, and we're applying it, but we're applying it in a way that was sensitive to understanding our unique company and culture. So uh, that, was, uh, that was a real time saver, actually. Yeah. Was the Partners in Performance engagement good value for money? Yes, God, yes. Value for money from, from uh, from PIP was, was, was fantastic. I mean, the, the, the resources, the time, the, the man hours you put into this, the, the pre-work that went into it, um, by far, compared to the other four alternatives we considered, um, it, was, um, it was fantastic because you guys are thinking about not just this first four weeks, but uh, a long-term relationship. And that came through in, in the way you were delivering value. Steve, if you want to share a little bit about 
the results of the engagement and the impact. Yeah, I want to say that through the four weeks, uh, your team did a great job of iterating bottoms up, top down, checking back with me and the management team, and, and uh, we made changes midstream. Uh, I changed my mind about what, I, as you were learning more, I changed my mind about what we really needed to do. And another, uh, another thing I really appreciate about PIP is that you were flexible, you adapted, you, you, you changed things around from the original assignment to uh, a, you know, a slightly larger assignment, and you took that all in stride, which is something I really appreciated because it's hard to define in, in the beginning. And then you gave us a menu of options, of incremental options, eight different options, which for a CEO is just fantastic. I, I love that, that I can have choices that are all defined down to great level of detail. All the costs are defined, all the benefits are defined, the risks and the mitigations. You know, with that kind of menu, I can sit down with my management team and, and really make well-informed decisions with with detail behind it, with real analysis uh, and detail behind it. So, and in the end, uh, this is transformative for REC. It's, um, it's reducing our management layers from right now, we have seven layers below the CEO to, to five layers. So we're taking two layers out of the organization. We're reducing uh, managerial interfaces by 40%. These are all the interfaces that have to happen to make, uh, make things happen at REC. 40% reduction, and then spans of control are broadening by 50% under this. So you take all those things together and you can imagine how that improves the speed, the tempo of the organization, uh, the, 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 the accountability of individuals in the organization, it, and it really feel, fits with the REC culture. It's the way I like to run, is to have an organization that is, is able to quickly move and quickly make decisions, and at the a bonus to that is not only speed, but you get career opportunities, development opportunities for talent retention, etc. People have bigger jobs, broader jobs, more interesting jobs, um, and that's great for long-term talent development for future CEOs and for for future senior leaders in the in the company, and and to really make jobs interesting and uh, meaningful. We get about a 10% reduction in FTEs. Um, which is, is very significant. It's $8 million of savings when we do all that end-to-end -end streamlining and reorganization for a high-performance organization. So a real tangible cost benefits as well as speed and, um, and, and employee retention. All of those things in an organizational redesign um, in four weeks, which is, uh, which is really amazing. And you guys went beyond that. Um, you went beyond just the really the original scope of the project to really identify strategic issues that were opportunities for us, which we're looking at now, particularly in procurement and in marketing. Um, could you um, help relate how the experience with office performance were uh, compared to some of the other consulting experiences that you've had? Yeah, I've had I've had lots of uh, consulting experiences. You know, and there are many things about uh, partners and performance that are different. What, one, though, is your understanding of the culture, particularly Southeast Asian culture. Uh, you know, we're, you're coming in here and uh, there are cultural differences in this part of the world. Uh, and you guys understood that from the beginning and how to work with um, the cultures here. Um, and you, and, but, and you, didn't, you didn't come in with a top-down approach, which is my experience with many consultants is, is working with me down. Uh, you, you started really uh, uh, from a bottoms up approach, getting alignment, getting buy-in, getting ownership, you know, so I, uh, so that by the time we come out with the conclusions of the project, all of that alignment, all of that ownership is already there because you guys have been working right in the, in the guts of our organization with the team, which is, which is very different than uh, my experience with, um, some other consultants, which is, is that real engagement at, at a working level is, is what I would expect from somebody who's really partnered with me versus just delivering, uh, you know, delivering a package.